Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Cancer. This is going to be for your uh, first half of your February from the 1st to the 15th. We are going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of the month. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you need to take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, uh, for the collective uh, cancer people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, and my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, support me on there too. So uh, let's get started. Energy check-in for Cancer. Over energy for Cancer for the first half of their February from the 1st to 15th for Cancer. Talk about Cancer here. Energy check-in for Cancer. Over energies for Cancer for February, for the first half of February. We have the Ace of Wands here and the Nine of Swords. <laughs> it's so interesting. I feel like some of you guys are really stressed out because I feel like there's a new beginning that's happening here where I feel like you guys are actually moving away. Yeah, you guys are actually moving away or that you guys could be starting a new business here. Yeah, because I feel like with the Five of Pentacles here and the Five of Cups, I feel like there's something that you want to begin here. I feel like you're really stressed out about it here because I feel like there could be a scarcity in finances and there's a fear of letting yourself down here, okay? But, you know, a lot of times, you know, when you put something, or, uh, put something out into the universe, something that you want to do... You actively do it, and the universe is a, a, the universe is going to support you in helping you manifest what you want here uh, with the Ace of Wands here, the Three of Wands here, and the Lovers here. Interesting. There could be a physical move that's happening here. Some of you guys could be moving for love here too. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is Cancer. You know, when it comes to love, you know, it could be that you're you're looking for it, but it could be the place that you're living. In where you feel like, okay, this is not the place where my person's going to be. It, it's going to be somewhere else. It might be in New York City or something like that. So I don't know why I'm getting that. Uh, we have, yeah, interesting. Yeah, I got that because this image has the Freedom Tower in the background here. Yeah, so we have the Ace of Wands here. I mean, this could also be an indication that this is you trying to find harmony. This is you trying to find balance in your life here. Trying to come into alignment with yourself here. Okay? Trying to find something that you love to do. But I do feel like there are some hurdles that's keeping you from actually doing it here. With the Ace of Wands here and the Two of Swords, you have some big decisions to make here. You're hitting a crossroads in your life here where I feel like you're definitely looking for a new beginning here. I feel like you don't want to continue to live the life that you're living in. Some of you guys might have lived in the same city, same town for all your life and they feel like you guys are just looking for something new you're ready for a new chapter in your life with the two of swords here yeah you have some big decisions it's a big you have some big decisions to make but i feel like the decision is not being made here because i feel like like i said there's a worry about letting yourself down you know so you know one of the things that you the only way that you know that you will succeed in it is that you do it that's the only way uh, cancer. If you don't do it, you won't know. If you don't do it, you won't learn, okay? So you have to sort of like really overcome this worry, overcome this fear, and just kind of go ahead. Grabbing, grabbing the bull by its horns is just really just going for it. It's hard. It's scary, but you never know if you don't do it. You know, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Three of Wands here, and the Eight of Cups. The lovers here and the nine of cups here. You know, I feel like once you take action here, once you actually execute and make the decision to do it, I feel like you're going to be really happy with the decision that you made here. I really do. Eight of cups here and the nine of cups. You're going to be extremely happy here. So I would go ahead and just do it. I feel like your intuition is telling you to do it, but your mind is getting in the way. The fear is setting in. That's blocking you from doing this. What else do we have here for cancer? What else does cancer need to know, look out for, work on for 
February, for the first half of February, we have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy. This is a big decision here. This decision is really going to change your life here. We have the Two of Pentacles here. So this is about a decision that you're trying to make here. I do feel like you, I, I do feel like, you know, the fear is setting in here. I do feel like it's keeping you from making this decision here, but I feel like you will make the right decision for yourself to actually take action here and move. We have the Four of Cups here, and we have the King of Swords here. Someone might hold you back from actually moving here. One of the things I'm getting here is, let's say if you were ro romantically involved with this king here that wasn't giving you the attention that you were looking for here, um, giving you what you want, and they come back around trying to reconcile, it's kind of like, oh, what if I move away and then my person change changes or does better? When that happens, you ca you cross that bridge once you get there, you know. Yeah, but you still you can't put your whole you you can't put your life on hold just for somebody here, just for a maybe. You know what I mean? If this person comes into comes in with like a definite answer here, that might be a different story. And when that happens, you got you can you know kind of readjust. You know, uh, you could be flexible here too. Uh, but you know, I feel like you just can't put your life on hold for somebody. I, I feel like you're you're. Your, your, this decision is based on somebody that you're dealing with here. And I feel like that's the worst thing that you could do is to live your life by, um, uh, you know, uh, putting your power into someone else's hands, you know, when the power should be in your hands. Because I see that you really want to do this, but someone here is keeping you from doing it. Um, the Judgment card and the Empress here, Taurus Energy, Libra Energy, the Two Pentacles here, and the Four of Wands. Yeah. Um, I would say that if you do make this, this, this decision here, this is the best decision that you will ever make in your life here because I feel like things will open up to you. You'll, you'll tap into this more creative energy here. You'll feel more stable. You'll feel more happy here. So, you know, if you're holding out on somebody here to come back towards you, to give you some sort of offer, to change here, um, I would not put all your eggs into one basket here. Interesting. We have the Empress of the Empress here. We have the King of Swords here and the Ten of Swords. Okay. Um, I do feel like whoever this is, let's say if you do make the decision to move here, um, you know, I do feel like this person will chase you here. This person did betray you by doing something that they weren't supposed to do. I do feel like this person will come in with some sort of apology here. The Emperor here, Aries energy, the Strength card, Leo energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles here and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person might convince you not to leave or that this person will convince you to stay. Uh, but I feel like you're not doing anything for this person anymore, you know? You're not putting your life on hold for somebody. Um, so I feel like you're definitely going to seize this opportunity to make this move here, you know? And, 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 do, and just do the things that make you happy, uh, Cancer, okay? Uh, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.